Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I'm going to show you another new updated application. It's Workspace Builder in App Engine Studio. I've been particularly thrilled with it lately and it just got an update in the May 2023 Q2 store release from ServiceNow. So let's take a look at it. I'm in my SSH episode. I haven't even screened this one, but you can see here I've got an update to Workspace Builder for App Engine. Let's open that up. Take a look. Workspace Builder is basically a no-code application that lets you do the dashboards and the lists and customizing your record pages. And in this version, if we go to the store, we see that they've added a couple of things. Um, the one that I'm interested in, in this video is showing you how to dot walk to your list columns when setting up the default behavior for your list. So I have in my application some stuff that's related to the records I'm looking at that would be really helpful to see in the list view instead of having to do it. But you can see there's some other updates here about if it's a high code or a custom dashboard, there's going to be some educational stuff to point you to go to UI Builder instead of using Workspace Builder. Um, and then there's a, some keyboard shortcuts, which uh, I'll see if I can toggle when I'm in there. But let's go ahead and hop into my favorites over at App Engine Studio and we'll pull up Justin's house. That's where I had so much fun creating my new workspace that I'm enjoying using that we were just in actually. And I'm going to go to experiences, show all 21 of those, and I'm looking for the Justin's House workspace, which is right there. And to get to Workspace Builder, all I have to do, and it's behind my head, so let me show it there, is click the little uh, horizontal ellipsis and click on Edit, and that'll jump me into Workspace Builder where I'm able to go and make some small adjustments. Now I'm, I'm hoping on the roadmap that this becomes more feature rich, and uh, maybe we don't have to go to UI Builder as much because um, I still haven't figured out UI Builder yet, but I'm working on it. Here's the little welcome page to that. I just click get started. So if I'm demoing this, I can show people that there's a welcome page. And then what I'm interested in to get the dot, dot walking is this list set up here. So my home is actually a dashboard. I've shown it in a different video. The list is going to be what shows up as lists for me to go and look at different records in my workspace. And you can see here I've got my content, my content tasks, my crawl queue, stuff like that. So what I'm interested in is my content tasks usually have a content record associated with them and then that has sometimes an idea record associated with it so I was thinking it'd be nice to see both in this list view of my content tasks right this is me actually doing stuff measuring what state it's in work in progress pending close complete all that stuff so what we're gonna do I believe is click on yeah right here manage columns here on the right hand side that'll let me control what shows up there and then the dot walking is of course is a familiar little button there and so on a content task for Justin it's I have content that's associated with it so I definitely want to see that field because that'll just I can click on that for the task and it'll take me to that content um, but there's also like I said sometimes an idea related with it or even a knowledge article actually I use knowledge to store some notes and stuff like that so let's add both of those because I'm dot walking to this different uh, field so I'm gonna add idea and knowledge article so we'll just go there and knowledge article there. So there it is. I've added content, idea, and knowledge article to my list view for my content tasks. I'm going to hit save down here. Um, very, very bottom right hand side. Make sure that shows up on the video. And that should save my workspace. So the filter list has been updated successfully. So I should be able to go close out. And actually, I don't even need to close out of that. I'm going to go to my list view in my workspace. Let's see if this updates real time or if I'm going to have to refresh the whole workspace. That'll be an interesting test. So we're going to go to a content task. I'll click on all. And look at that. It didn't have to be updated. It pulled in my content, my idea, and my knowledge article that's associated with the content task that I'm working on. So that's it. That's the new update for Workspace Builder in App Engine Studio. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in what got updated in Q2 in the ServiceNow store for App Engine Studio. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.